Hi, this is just a demo of my two string fretless bass that I've just finished yesterday. It's a um, 13 inch scale. Um, I was going to put some P bass pickups in that I got cheap off eBay, but um, I thought it would weaken things too much for the hole and then cutting into the neck. So I changed my mind and put a, a rod piezo from CB Gitty into the saddle because I just bought a couple of those and it, I'm pleased with how that sounds. Um, Strings, I didn't even realise there were long scale, short scale. I bought some long scale electric ones for when I thought I was going to put the other pickup on. So then I realised somebody, I think it was Ice Bob, pointed out I should get short scale. So I got some short scale acoustic ones, but they were too short. The thin bit that you wind around the string came down to about here. I think because normally they would come up from the bridge, but they've got to go right back here. So I went back to the long scale, flat wound electric ones, which they sound okay. I don't know what the implications are of putting short scale, I mean long scale strings on a short scale thing, but it works anyway. So, um, and when I finished making it, almost finished, strung it up, didn't have a sound hole, it sounded really good, but no feedback. So I thought, oh, if I put a sound hole in, it might start having problems with feedback. I wish there was an undo button. So what I did is, this is my undo button. I've got a 44mm hole and this, just a normal plug, fits in it. Although there's not really much problem with feedback unless you put a um, distortion pedal. If it's turned really loud then you get, get, get some and this does help. So, undo. Um, and I ignored several people's advice about strengthening it. If you, I wanted to, to make something really simple after making my last one, which was three string fretted. And oh, people saying you need to do this, you need to do that, and I just thought, no, I'm just going to do it simply. It's just a bit of oak, no extra strengthening. But what? It was so pretty easy to build. But what I found is that it will be worth making, even if this snaps in half tomorrow. Since making it and playing it a bit, i found that when I listen to music, I can hear the bass and just hearing music differently. So, yeah, even if it snaps, it would have been worth making just for that. Um, the action is high because I put the neck through there. It has to be high. I, I thought that it would be stronger that way. And I was going to initially just make it high action for sliding but then I'd sort of changed my mind a bit I thought I put a low quite a low nut so I could do a little bit down here so yeah it's a bit of each really I can you can do a bit of finger style down there I don't know anything about playing bass I know some people seem to play it like this which does kind of sound. Well, I think why not just play with your thumb? But as you can see, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so I just if I can find my slide. Um, play it. Oh, this slide. It's a big, heavy copper slide, a Robert Johnson thing that I saw Stumble Coal using. I got one. I thought I liked it, but it was very heavy. It was a bit heavy, so only good on certain guitars, but it's great for this because this is he big heavy strings and high action. <laughs> Works great on that. Um, yeah, I haven't put any fret markers on at all yet, so when I start playing it, it's probably going to sound a bit dodgy because I'm changing strings, changing tunings, going all over the place at the moment. Um, and I think it's quite good for you to play without any for sometimes, just to sort of feel where to go. Especially if you're sliding, it's, you can just hear where to go. So I'll try and play something. Well, what I like about having a piezo instead of the magnetic is you can do stuff on the box, which I miss if I've got a magnet pick up. So I'll try and just um, play a few loops and jam along so you can hear what it sounds like.
with that. The fret markers, but it gives you an idea of what it sounds like. 